I like you, gal, in particular. Yes, you, in particular. That's God's thing into me, baby, to Major Laser today on my run with him. And that's just how he makes me feel, like he loves me in particular. So I don't want you guys to miss out on all this love I received from him. So I was under the tree today. I got to the tree at exactly 7.13. So I read, read page 13, then I went to page 7. And under, on page 7, two times it mentioned about me knowing who I am and who I am, right? Because that was a conversation that I had with my brother Kevin yesterday. I said, hey, it might, it might have taken me a long time, but I finally get the message from you when you said God wants me to know I'm secure in Him, no matter what's going on, that He wants me to know I'm His girl. So I said, I finally, finally, finally got the message. And that showed up twice on the page seven of our family's website. So, after reading that though, I still say, God, this is a lot. I still need to hear more from you. So I ended up going to our meditation book, Jesus Calling for Kids. And I continued where I'd left off from my husband's appointment with him, because I had called him and said, let's have an appointment with God, honey. And I just continued on to the next day, asking God to say, God, please, I need another glimmer of your presence that you're with me, you're with me, you're with me. And look what showed up, guys. You see that? It says, a child of the king, right? That showed up. And I looked down on my arm at this bracelet I've been wearing for like a year now. What does it say? Child of the king. Exactly. The same color, the same words, everything, guys. So God is saying, Nick, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Okay, nobody can tell me there's some random coincidence that the same color of the bracelet, everything showed up when I'm there saying, God, I need an extra, extra, extra extra glimmer of your presence with me today and then i continued reading it guys and look what showed up never forget who you are and whose you are and that was written as if god was speaking to me so exactly the conversation that i had with my brother kevin for it to show up twice on the page seven that i went to read on our family's website and again continued on into this appointment with god from my hubby for that to show up there again Never forget who you are and whose you are. Okay, so that's my message for you guys today. Don't forget who you are and whose you are. It's taken me a long time to get this message from my brother Kevin. So I want this, it to get into you guys that God loves you unconditionally. I'm loving some Muslim pastors now that I'm watching on Instagram, guys. And one of them said yesterday something so key. He said the biggest trap of the devil is when he tells us that we're not good enough to go to God. That we're not, we're like, we could be deep in sin, guys, and we allow that sin to keep us away from God. He said, don't stop going to God. He said, even if you're deep in the worst sin, whatever you're doing in your life, you might think you're so far off track. Don't let it stop your prayers. Because you know the Muslims, they believe in having these prayers five times a day. And so I'm following them. Every day I wake up, I go and I meet God under my tree. And that's my message to you guys. Don't let nothing stop you from getting a relationship with God. Okay, I don't care how bad you think you're a mess up. Like I love these messages from my, my brother, Carrie, And he talked about how he's not a perfect person. None of us are. But he said, but every day I wake up and I work on myself. Okay, so don't care where you are. Don't let anybody, don't let the devil, nobody keep you away from God, guys. He loves us exactly where we are. And he's the one who's going to help us to get our lives on track, whatever the situation is. But we have to make it a priority to spend that time with him praying like the Muslim pastors say, take those prayers seriously. So your girl has stepped up her prayers. Call, pray with my husband. I have appointments with God with my sons now. I don't play around with that. My own appointments with God as I'm eating. I'm having appointments with God. Everything about my life, guys, I'm going with God, seeking him every moment, every second, asking him to be my life partner and asking him to make wise decisions. Okay, guys, it's very important for us to be wise people. Like my brother Kevin has taught me. So every moment, every second, whatever situation you're facing, just look to God and say, God, what is this? What do I do here? 
and just asking him to give you his wisdom for your life, guys. And I promise you, no matter where you are, no matter how bad things seem to be off track, God will be the one to help you get everything going again. So like that guy said, don't allow the devil to tell you, oh, God doesn't want a relationship with you because you're da-da-da-da-da-da. Forget that. God loves us. He wants us. Even today, I'm running back home. This lady is sending me messages about my ripped up jeans that I mustn't be posting pictures like that to her group because I'm wearing ripped up jeans. I say, look, God sees my heart, sweetie. He don't look at the ripped up jeans that I'm wearing. He looks at me incomplete and he loves me unconditionally. So if you want to kick me out of your group, that's between you and God. But I know who I am and whose I am and I know God loves me. And I want you to know that he loves you too. So no matter where you are, Get up every day. Have those appointments with him. Take those prayers seriously. <laughs> the way I talk to my boys now, I said, guys, I need you guys to be close to God. The way I'm even talking to my daughters, I say, look, guys, every day, make God your priority. Amber, get back in the gym. Julie, get back with your running. Every day and have that appointment with God and let him be your priority in life. That's why I love this brother Kevin so much. He told me that. In one of my worst moments, he said, Nix, the only thing I can tell you is make God your priority. Focus on God. And the messages from Carrie too, guys, remind me that all day long, I'm to continue to keep my heart, my mind, my soul focused on God. Another message from Carrie today was just about being strong. Say not, and he said, I'm not just being strong and praying to God for strength for me. He said, because I'm keeping up the roof from, from falling on everybody who's counting on me. So for me to make wise decisions, I have to keep remembering these kids. I have four kids, guys, that I have to show up and make wise decisions for them. Okay, so every moment we're going to be going to God and asking him for his guidance to help us to be the wise people that he would have it to be. Go on the extra mile in love and kindness and gentleness and faithfulness. Asking him to give us the strength to be all that he's called us to be, his representative in the world, even with our ripped up jeans, okay? Don't let anybody tell you anything. You have your own personal relationship with God, and whatever he doesn't like, he will be the one to tell you. Don't let anybody else make you feel like you have to be so and such for God. No, nothing like that. He loves us exactly where we are. So don't miss out. The best, best, best relationship is with God. We need him, we need him, we need him. Peace.